Alright, welcome back to Tio today. This is Tio Pilo, our daily 90-day daily video challenge. So, yung goal ko is every single day, gagawa ko ng videos all about personal finance, business, investments, and multiple sources of passive income. So, ngayon, in the previous video, I mentioned yung money jar system. So, isa sa mga favorite ways ko on how you can handle your your money, okay? How you can manage your income. So, dun sa money jar system, uh, we mentioned different percentages. Okay, so 10% freedom fund, 10% long-term savings for spending, 10% play, eduk fund, give fund, and 50% para sa mga needs natin, necessities fund. So, uh, yung kagandahan kasi with this system is that it satisfies universal laws. Okay, so na-research ko na ano yung mga universal laws na this manager system is being able to satisfy yung mga laws na yun. Again, there are laws in the universe, example, yung law of gravity, whatever you throw up, okay, it will fall down. So, yan, you cannot argue with that. So, dito naman sa manager system, it also satisfies these universal laws, okay? So, let's proceed. So, for freedom fund naman, okay, it satisfies the law of abundance, ano, attraction pala, <laughs> law of attraction. Na spoiler tuloy kayo. <laughs> okay. Law of attraction. So if you're familiar with the law of attraction, what you focus on expands, okay? What you can conceive, you can achieve. Okay? So example like uh so for example, buntis yung missis mo, okay? Yung partner mo and when you go out, what you can see are also other pregnant women, di ba? Kasi yan yung focus mo. Okay? The same time, so for example, uh, gusto mo ng red car, Mazda 3 red, okay? So, yun yung gusto mo. And when you go out there, yung makikita mo parang, ang dami palang mga tao na meron mas than red, ha? Okay? Kasi, yun yung focus mo. Same thing with the manager system. So, by focusing 10% on your freedom fund, basically, you are attracting, you are focusing financial freedom. Okay? Kasi, yun naman yung goal natin, di ba? We want to achieve financial freedom so that we can live our desired lifestyle. So, very important that we need to allocate, okay? Allocate 10% freedom fund, right? Another one naman is ito, play fun. Ito yung one of the favorites, fa favorite fun natin, di ba? Yung play fun. It's the same thing. It's the law of attraction. Okay? So, bakit? Itong play fun kasi, this is an opportunity for you to to spend for yourself, to reward yourself, to enjoy your hard-earned income. Okay? Like, imagine, ha? like, have you ever experienced you work so hard and then, para bang you feel deprived? Okay? Para bang, hindi ko na enjoy yung income ko. Ito yon, play fun. Okay? The goal of the play fun is that you spend it all. Every single month, you spend it all on something that will make you feel happy. Okay? Or basically, even to give you the best in life. So, parang ito is you pamper yourself. Kasi this one, this will exercise our receiving muscle. Again, receiving muscle. Have you ever noticed this one? Like, pupunta ka sa isang... Um, luxurious hotel, okay? Pagpasok mo sa lobby, parang bang, ha? Parang niilang ka, okay? Parang, I don't belong here, okay? So, minsan kasi, we don't see ourselves, we do, parang, we are not comfortable yet with the feeling of having wealth, okay? So, with the play fund, you can pamper yourself, okay? You wanna go into a, a luxury hotel? You can spend in the play fund. You wanna buy yourself a, uh, a bottle of wine, you can pump yourself with your play fund, okay? Alright, so basically the goal of play fund is we want to attract, okay? We want to attract, we want to be good receivers, right? So even it, ito ah, example, like, have you ever noticed like when people compliments, uh, yung, 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 you have a person or you have a friend that will compliment you like, ang ganda mo yun ah. <laughs> Usually, hindi tayo comfortable of receiving it, we compliment back like, Ikaw rin, ganda ng shirt mo, ang dress mo, di ba? So, we are not comfortable. So, yung goal with this one is we want to exercise a receiving muscle. So, if somebody compliments you, you say, thank you. Okay, so, you need to receive it, right? Play fun will help you, uh, will help you satisfy the law of attraction that you are deserving to receive the best in life, okay? Next naman is the long-term savings for spending Ito naman is the law of sowing and reaping, okay? Or the law of harvest. Sowing and reaping or the law of har har harvest. 
Kasi usually, for long-term savings for spending, ito yung mga big purchases natin. So like, um, car, house and lot, travel, okay? college education. So, wala naman siguro anything big, okay? Makukuha mo kaya, di ba? So, you really need to plan, okay? And then, long-term savings nga eh. Long-term. So, hindi naman pwede na mag-plan ka ngayon. Tomorrow, i-reap mo na. Hindi naman, di ba? So, LTSS, this is basically the law of harvest. So, we satisfy the law of harvest. So, whatever big purchases, whatever, uh, whatever grand things that you want for yourself, we really need to plan so that later on we can harvest, right? 10% naman education fund, this is for the law of growth and decay. Law of growth. Alright, so just like planting, actually nature is teaching us a lot all about these universal laws, di ba? So, say for example, you're gonna plant, di ba? You're gonna plant something. Of course, mag-grow yan. Kapag it's not growing, automatically, it is dying. There's really nothing in between. So, same thing with us. If you are not growing, you are not constantly learning, you are not constantly being active, you are dying, <laughs> okay? So, ano ibig sabihin nito? Like, example, ha? like, people die at age 25 and they make they make it official at the age 80 okay again people die at age 25 make it official at age 80 meaning at the age 25 they're doing the same thing over and over again stuck in a job they hate parang zombie mode na eh there's no growth like ganun na lang same cycle dragging their feet to work okay nabobored sila kasi stagnant actually they're not stagnant they're actually dying kaya People die at age 25, and then they make it official at age 80, okay? So, personally then, I also know people na they have a business, I think he's like 80 years old, pero he's still very active. Kasi his mind is always working. Nasa business pa rin siya, he still wants to learn, okay? That's the law of growth and decay. So, yung suggestion ko, very important, meron kang 10% allocated for your education. So, I congratulate you for investing your time dito for learning okay this is one way of growing okay another way of growing is by buying books purchasing online courses all right attending seminars okay you need to constantly grow yourself in education all right next naman is and lastly lastly is the law of giving this is the law of abundance okay law of giving and receiving all right so you need to say like you give all right you give what you're gonna give you're gonna make somebody happy so example like i'm a person i'm person a okay and i'm gonna give to person a see person a he will be happy okay because he is happy most likely baka he also will be generous enough to give to person b see person b is happy because he received something from person A, in return, he's also gonna give, right? So, the cycle goes on until person, say for example, example, person D. Person D uh, sees one of my videos, nagustuhan niya, and he gave me his money and he purchased an online course from me. So, he's happy kasi he purchased something valuable. I'm also happy kasi bumalik sa akin yung what I give, all right? So, the law of giving and receiving is it's a cycle. Every time you give, ka, okay, you're making somebody happy, and that person will be, then give and give and give until babalik sa. If you're familiar with the uh, Bible verse, like I'm not really sure with the actual verse, like you give and God will give you ten times more. Parang yun, kasi you're blessing a lot of people. Once the cycle goes back to you, you're gonna receive more blessings. All right. And then I don't know if you also notice. Means and then when you give something, parang ba ang tagal bumalik. Tagal bumalik. Maybe because, okay? It's blessing a lot of people, alright? Or, somebody out there is not giving. Okay? May na-receive siya, he's hoarding it, and yung cycle, hindi na nag-flow. Alright? And you don't want to be that person that will, that will stop the flow of blessings. Alright? So, yan yung law of abundance. So, that's why yung money jar system is a very powerful money management system because you are satisfying this universal loss, okay? Sa needs naman, 
this is law of survival. So we need, we have to have needs, okay? Law of survival. So basically, um, the money jar system, it satisfies these uh, different universal laws. However, ito ha, yung mga percentages, these are just suggestions. These are just guidelines. You can adjust depending on your on your situation. Pero ito yung mga ideal, yung recommended. Because the goal is, at least, each of these each of these uh, funds or accounts we really need to take into consideration right so that's it for now and if you find this video helpful again i suggest you visit freedomloveph.com again that's freedomloveph.com i guarantee you there's tons of great content just like this content and if you enjoyed this video hit like share comment down below and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye bye